Hello lovely people, welcome to the Geek Cupboard, I'm Penge, and welcome to Citadelum, which is an ancient Roman city builder game. We go back in time a few thousand years and we build ourselves a lovely city, complete with all the familiar city builder things that we know and love, like homes and farms and markets and all that kind of stuff. But because it's a Roman city builder, we get to build some very Roman things, like aqueducts and bathhouses and such, like they're quite Roman. And of course, we have to make sure that people are happy and fed. We've got to make sure that our people are having a lovely time living in the city. There's exploration, there's combat, and we even get to have a chat with a few Roman gods, which all sounds very nice indeed. Now, this is the demo of the game, which is available on Steam right now as I record this. As always, there is a link to the Steam store page in the video description where you can and go and check the game out a little bit more and also have a go at the demo if you would like to. But anyway, here we go. Let us engage the time circuits and pop back to ancient Rome. Okay, okay, here we go. Perugia 40 BC. So we have gone back quite a long way. A period of civil war is sparked by the assassination of Julius Caesar on the Ides of March 44 BC at the hands of a group of senators. Gaius Octavius, Caesar's adopted son, returns to Rome to take revenge on the aggressors and confronts Lucius Antonius, brother of Marcus Antonius, in the city of Perugia. After besieging the city, he orders it to be destroyed in retaliation against the traitors. It is your mission to move there, together with a group of colonists, and start the construction of a new city under the name of Augusta Perugia. Okay, so a little bit of backstory there. And then down here we have three goals. Now, goal number one says, reach a population of 35... And then we have that word there. Now, I think you pronounce that plebeian. I think it's plebeian and plebeians, but possibly it might be plebeian or plebeians. I'm not entirely sure. So I'm going to say plebeians. If I go through this whole video and I'm supposed to be saying plebeians, then I apologize in advance, but I think it's plebeian. So we have to get to 35 plebeians, which is kind of like a class, if you like, and it's quite a low down class on the Roman social ladder. And then we have to create a trade route with the city of Vitona. And then we have to send 75 some things to Rome. Now, I think that might be marble. I'm not entirely sure, but I think that's marble. Do you know what? We'll find out as we play. So let's press start and then just wait a second. And there we go. Right. Hello there, Gaius Titus Cato. So Gaius Titus Cato here is kind of like our little tutorial person. They pop up and help us out from time to time. I have done a bit of the tutorial. I've not done it all because it's quite lengthy, but I've done enough that I think we should be okay. We should be able to muddle through with most things. So guys, Titus Cato, it's very lovely that you've popped by to say hello, and it's lovely to see you and your big stern face, but I don't think we need you anymore. You've got the day off. Go and have a day off doing lovely Roman things. It's absolutely fine. We don't need more tutorials. Hopefully that is understood. And there we go. He's now gone and we can have a little look around and the map is quite pretty. It's quite pretty. There are plenty of trees going on. A bit of a barren kind of area just there. A little bit of water over here. And we can zoom in quite a bit. We can zoom into quite sort of close level. So we can see lily pads and things on the water, which is quite pretty. And you'll notice that there are roads. There's a road already kind of built coming through here. Weirdly, the road does have a bend which I didn't think Roman roads did very often. I thought they were always quite you know, straight in a line. That's kind of how a Roman road works, isn't it? They were just always very sort of straight. But this road here has a little bit of a bend in it for whatever reason. But there we go. So got a road and that's kind of it. That's all we have. Nothing much going on right now. However, you will notice that there are time controls in the corner, which I think means now seems like a very good time to ask a very important question. Is spacebar pause? And yes, I can happily confirm that spacebar is pause. Well done, game. Good job. Right, let's take a look around at what we've got going on. So right now, we've got nothing. There's no plebeians. There's no patricians. There's no military. There's, there's nothing. There's no people. There's no happiness or anything because there's nothing here. We have got 15,000... Again, I don't know what the Roman currency is. 15,000 Roman monies, 15,000 shiny silver coin things, which is quite good. Um, and that's it. We've got nothing else going on. So we, yeah, we really are starting from scratch. And the first thing we have to do is put down the city gates. Now the tutorial does say, put them near to water because you're going to want to be near to some water. So I think let's start maybe over here, look. If we put them here, there's water over there, and then we've got plenty of room to kind of build around here, and we're close to that water supply. So let's grab our gates, and they have to attach to the road. They have to be attached to the existing road. Uh, so if we put them 
Uh, I don't know, say there, that'll do. So boop them in like that. And there we go. They're going to appear. I mean, even though time was paused, they've built, which is quite good. And then in here, we've got, if we zoom out, actually, can we, there we go, look. So we can see the lovely kind of entrance to our city. Looks very nice. And then we can kind of go in and the walls disappear and we can see inside. And there's all sorts of bits and bobs inside. Oh, there's a plant. There's a plant. The first building we've got has got a plant in it. Marvellous. And then other stuff as well. Little kind of storage boxes and whatever. Because, yeah, this does also act as a bit of a storehouse type thing. So I think now we've got 1,200 wood and 900 stone. And that's kind of it. So we do need to possibly gather some more wood and stone. Although that does seem like quite a lot. So... Let's get building, shall we, down here. We now have many, many things we can build, including decoratives. Now, at the minute, we can't build any of these, which is a little bit sad. We're a level one settlement, I think. We have prestige level one, so we can't build too much. But when we get to level two, we can build exciting things. We could build a fancy tree, or we could build a garden. So let's try and get to level two, shall we? I mean, you can build other exciting things as well. You know, production buildings and different kind of fields and such. But really, we want to build exciting decorative. So let's get building. So job number one, get some housing in so people can live here. That would seem quite sensible. So how about we get a lovely road? And again, we can't build the fancy roads. We can only build like a sort of a track road, if you like. So if we put that coming all the way through... The middle, it's going to cost us a bit of money, but I think if we have a kind of a central road, maybe coming all the way through like that, wonderful. Um, and then we'll have some sort of production-y stuff over here near the water, and maybe we could live over here. Maybe have a little kind of living area just here. That might be quite good. Got a lovely kind of field there. Look, I'm come out the build thing. Can we come out the build thing? Look, it's got little pretty red flowers that we are likely going to have to build on top of and destroy. Sorry, red flowers. Um, so yeah, now we need some housing. So let's go to here and build some plebeian housing. Just really basic, very simple housing. So I think maybe if we put it in the middle over here, that might be quite good. Leaves room down here to expand with whatever else. Some nice you know, happiness providing buildings or something. So if we go to here... So go boop, that's going to cost 40 money and 40 wood and 30 stone. And I think five people can live in one of those. They're complaining they're not attached to the road. We can get that sorted in a moment. Hang on. So if we build four of those and then rotate it round and then go another four, we've got a little kind of Roman, Roman street going on, which is nice. So grab us a path, bring that through. Marvellous. Okay, so if we then unpause time, we should. There we go. People are moving in. You, welcome. You're our first person. The first plebeians have arrived in the city. And there they are. We've got one person. And they're just kind of standing around. And again, when you zoom in and look at the buildings, the walls do kind of drop down and you can see inside. And there's all sorts of lovely things. But there we go. You're our first person. Hello there. Welcome. Welcome to the city of whatever it was. What did we call it? I forgot what we called it. Augustus Perugia or something. I can't remember. But whatever. There we go. Hello. Welcome aboard. So yeah, clicking on this look. We've got maintenance. You have to maintain your buildings. We'll look at that in a second. You've got occupation. How many people live in the house? Desirability, of course. How nice it is to live there. And then a housing level. All the buildings kind of level up eventually if you give them nice things. So uh, yeah, there we go. Our first person has moved in. Hello, new person. So I think now we make this area a little bit more desirable. Right now, the zone desirability is 0%. Nobody wants to live around here, really. I mean, yeah, they'll come in because there's a house. They can get a roof over their heads, but it's not really that nice. So let's see what they do want. Their required service is a reservoir. They would like some sort of water, but also there are other things we can provide them. We need to get some sort of engineer type thing in to fix their houses up. And I believe there is like a little kind of fire service type thing as well. So let's get some of those in, shall we? So where would they be exactly? Um, it's not under defense. Homes and services. There we go. So a fire station. So if we get ourselves a fire station, say on this side, if we build some more housing over here. Or do we put it over here? No, I kind of want more housing over in this direction. So if we put a fire station just... In fact, if we put it right there on the side of the road, 
It can also put out fires over here. Although, should they have their own fire station? Do you know what? We'll put it right at the end over here and then have another fire station over there to deal with whatever's over in that part of the world. So if we put that just there and then that's going to also have to have its own road. So hang on. This is again, it's going to be sort of plebeian land. So if we go to there and then just build a road out like that and then just connect that bit up. There we go. Right. So we have our very first fire station. It's not working because nobody's actually you know, assigned to it. There's only one person that lives here anyway. Um, and also, it's going to need some water because they need to you know, use water to put out the fires. They can't run in and put out by stamping on it with their big Roman boots. They do like to use water. So I think... Now, where is it? Is it under... Is it under defence? Which one is it? There's, here we go. Again, it's under here. It's under this one. So we need a water mill. So the water mill goes next to the water, as you might imagine. And this is where we start building our lovely new aqueduct, which is all very exciting. So if we put that just um, wrong place, it says, oh, okay, we'll put it there then. So build that just there. So we have a little kind of water mill. So we've got, can we zoom out? Can we go and have a look? Can we come out of that? Yeah, there we go. So they're going to turn. In fact, if we run time on, they're going to turn. And look, We've got water going into the, the start of an aqueduct. I mean, really, it should just be kind of pouring on the floor right now, but never mind. And then we can carry on building. We can build more aqueduct, look, which is very good. So that's going to appear. And the water just kind of runs along in an aqueducty sort of a way. And then it needs to go into a reservoir, which we can put just here. So if we pop that, do you know, we'll put that just there. That does cover quite a wide area. And then we've got a little bit of space to build on either side. Hang on, we've not done that very well, have we? We've not we've not built this very well. Do you know what? Can we tear that building down? Can we get rid of that house? Yes, we can. Okay, so go back to here. Get us the reservoir to go just there, I think. So put that in just there. And then we can get two more uh, plebeian houses in, like that. There we go. However, the reservoir needs to be attached to the aqueduct. So now let's bring this across like this, bring it down and then connect it up. And when that's done, ta-da, the water runs along and it fills up the reservoir. And there we go. We can see inside it's got the sunlight sort of, you know, shining off the surface of the water. Looks very pretty. And then we need more people to move in, really. We've got two workforce that are unassigned. So we can go to here. And we could say, do you know what? Two people can now go and work in the fire station. So our first people we've employed are firefighters, which is quite good. And then look, we can see they go under the aqueducty bits. Hopefully they do. Nope, they walk through the pillars. It's a demo. It's fine, everybody. <laughs> it's okay. Right, more people are moving in. More people are moving in because there's now water. They've got water and they're covered by the fire service, which is good. So that's a big tick in there. So people are happy. Um, but then, yes, yeah, so how about we look at the maintenance of the buildings? Because that's also a very important thing. And a market's going to be important as well. So we want to get an engineer post because the engineers need to look after everything. Um, ah, The only thing is we might possibly need two lots of engineers because they're not able to cover the entire little kind of residential area that we've set up. OK, that's fine. That's OK. How about... We put some on that corner there. In fact, if we bring that back a little tiny bit, it can work. They can sort of maintain that thing as well. So if we put it just... It's going to have to be there, isn't it? So if we put them one space back. So let's put them just there. And then we'll have some more on this side. So like that. Then get the road. Roadie connect. Yep, absolutely. Connect to the road. Okay. Marvellous. Uh, and then we do want a road kind of going in that direction as well. Right. That's complained. There's no people working in them. Hang on. Two people can be engineers there. Two people can be engineers there. And now they will go around and fix up all the housing. Because, yeah, the buildings do tend to fall apart quite quickly. They do tend to kind of crumble very easily. So we have to have these guys to go around and just kind of fix things up a little bit, which is very lovely. So there we go. That's looking good. Fairly basic. But we are heading toward... 35 people. We can definitely accommodate 35 people. We've got many houses and they can hold five people. So that's 20. 
that's going to be 30, that's going to be 40. We can hold, what, 50 people possibly? So we should be able to get that sorted. That'll just tick up and that'll be quite good. And then, yeah, in fact, if we get another seven uh, plebeians, we can then go up to the next kind of prestige level, which is going to be very handy. Let's have a look, our time is ticking by, at what else we can build. I think maybe a market could be quite handy. Now, this is a bit of an issue, isn't it? Because I should possibly have factored in a market and built it in the middle. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to annoy the people that live there. Sorry, uh, we're just going to move you next door. That's where you can go. I assume they do just sort of move to a different house or whatever. Oh, no, we lost. Oh, crikey. Okay, they don't just move to a different house with a space. They just kind of vanish. Okay, oh, no. One homeless citizen. I'm sure they can find a home. So there we go. They found a home and we'll put you back to work in there. There you go. Um, and then, yes, we'll put the marketplace in here because then it covers that whole area. Possibly should have thought about that earlier, but never mind. Right. In goes a marketplace. Very nice. Per How many people have we got? Ten spare people. Four people can work in there. There we go. Marvellous. So lots of people living in our market. Um... And yeah, they go. they've got little kind of carts and things. I don't think they know what they're doing with the carts right now. <laughs> they're doing some sort of weird, poorly choreographed dance, I think. But okay, you guys just... Yeah, that's it. You guys keep doing that. That's great. Good job. Good job, folks. Good job. Very good. Um, and yeah, one more person. And we shall go up to... There we go. Prestige level two. So we get patrician housing, which is the next sort of social tier up. So slightly fancier housing. And then a tax office. We can actually get some money back. So a minute, we're not making any money. We're just losing lots of money. And then we have baths, which is very exciting. And then we get taverns, grape orchards, and down here, look. Now, this is intriguing. A cabbage orchard now i would say an orchard is trees you know like an apple orchard the, the apples grow on a tree cabbages don't typically grow on trees i wouldn't say but they call it a cabbage orchard and there are other orchards that there's an onion orchard as well which is a bit weird but there we go and then various other bits and bobs as well and our very first kind of thing which is a tree a lovely decorative item of a tree which is going to be good so that's all very nice and um, down here i've got a little bit of a gap so maybe in there we could put down, um, how about a tree at the back, like so, and then at the front, a little garden, just to make that area a tiny bit more desirable. There we go, look, little sort of fun prettification things. And then if we look here, that area has a little bit of desirability. People want to come and live over here because of the lovely tree and the tiny garden. So there we go, we've made it look a little bit prettier, which is lovely. Right now... I think possibly food might be quite good. We are going to need some food. So let's look in tier. So we could get a wheat field. And I think uh, daily resource requirement consuming 15 a day. Right, so they are consuming wheat. So possibly we should get one of those in. But also, where is it? A cabbage orchard. I feel like possibly we should get some of those in. Because, you know, these are plebeians. They're effectively peasants. And as we all know, cabbages means that the people living a, a lovely peasanty dream there, getting some delicious cabbages. So maybe we should get some of those in. Um, possibly over here? Maybe in this area. We also do need to make sure we get some wood. To make sure we get some wood. So a logging camp, it lowers desirability. So if we put... What if we put the logging camp over here? That might be okay. Sort of out of the way, isn't it? No one's going to live over there. So pop that in like that. And then connect that up with a, a road like so. Wonderful. And then put a... What have we got? 11 people. Put two people into there. That should be okay. Um, there's no warehouse in the radius. Okay, so now we need to get some warehouses put down. So this is how we can you know, store various bits and bobs. The only thing is, it does say there, it lowers zone desirability. So and the sort of radius of these is, is quite big. Nobody wants to live near this thing. I mean, look at it. It's, it's very... <laughs> people really don't want to live near this. So I think what we'll do is um, we'll put one over here. Maybe the residential bits can go over here, possibly. Um, and then... Because, yeah, that's, that's a very big area of undesirability, isn't it? That, that's a huge area. So if we put one just there... And then connect that up with a lovely road. There we go. 
and put some paperwork in it. We'll have three people in there. There we go. So do that. So they can now take the wood over into that warehouse. And again, I think we're going to have these sort of <laughs> the funny people out the front doing their badly choreographed dance. But that's fine. You do you. Right. So we've got wood coming in from those guys chopping down the trees. They can store it over there. Next thing, stone. Whereabouts is stone? Also, do we need engineers over here to fix those buildings? I think we might do because otherwise they're going to fall apart. Um, engineer post. Uh, oh, hang on a minute. If we put one on the corner, it's not quite enough to cover these things. How about we put one on here? Put one here and we'll just build a bit of a weird road going round to it. That'll do. We'll put one in the middle. And it can cover anything we build over in this part of the world. So put that there. And then we'll get a road coming like that. And then it can go around the top of this thing, possibly. And then round like that. There we go. Right, so that's connected. And then get a couple of people in there. Because there are quite a lot of people going spare. Right, wonderful. So they can now be maintained, which is good. If there's a fire, not quite sure what we do. Maybe, oh, we've got up to prestige level three. We've got 30 plebeians here. We can build bridges and doctor's offices and temples. Here we go. Exciting temples. And then we can build different orchards. Um, yeah, carrot orchard. <laughs> it's just an odd an odd terminology because yeah, it implies, yeah, orchard stuff growing off trees. But there we go. Melon orchards and then various other things. Okay, also a bakery. A bakery that produces bread from grain. And as we often say... It's always quite exciting to be able to make your own bread in games like this. If you make your own bread in a game like this, it's always a bit of a, a bit of an important moment there because you know you're doing well. So I think we try and get that done. I think we might need to build a plankery to get that done, but that's okay. So now the only thing we're not gathering is stone. Okay, where is some sort of stone deposit type things? Yeah, stone quarry needs to have it in the right area. Um, okay, it's pointing to where stone is. Oh, oh, okay. <laughs> the stone is quite far away. The stone is very, very distant. Um, or there's some, uh, or there's some around here. There's some over there. Uh, there's only one lot over there that there's one stone deposit. Whereas over here, there are a couple of stone deposits, but it is incredibly far away from where we are. Um, also, the big kind of barren, deserty, dead bit there. I think maybe let's build over here. I don't think the people travel to and from work as such. I think once they're kind of assigned to that job, they just sort of appear there. Uh, yeah, they sort of make their way to it. And yeah, I think time is passing, not as we see it sort of thing. So if we put that just there, that's got those two stone things in range, which is good. We, of course, need to bring this over to connect to something. So bring that down like that. Okay, so it's connected, which is good. They're going to need... We're going to try... Oh, do we have to build over here at some point? Okay, put put three people in it because we are looking low on stone. But do you know what? Four people. And where's the lumber camp? Put two people in here as well. There we go. So four in there, four in there, gathering basic resources. Still got seven people left which is quite good. Um, yeah, there's no warehouse. Indeed. That is a little bit of an issue, isn't it? Um, hang on a minute. Where are they? Warehouse. I mean, no one's going to live over here, so it's fine. We'll just put it there. There we go. And then we'll put two people to work in there as well. Right. So that should be functioning. But yes, this is going to slowly fall apart because nobody's maintaining it. So now over here, <laughs> do we need to put an engineer post? Which I think we might. And then also a fire station to just make sure that these buildings don't collapse. Yeah, there we go. Do you know what? It's fine. There we go. Little kind of important outpost. So uh, the building the building has no water. Okay, that fire station has no water. I mean, th there is water over here, game. It should be fine. We're okay, I think. So we need to get... Uh, how much money have we got? Just shy of 13,000. We are losing 580 monies per day. Time is ticking by, so yeah, we're losing a bit of money. So how about we do this, and then we should be gathering all the resources we need to do building, which should be fine. Um, a well extracts water from aquifers to supply nearby buildings within a small radius. Oh, 
maybe could we provide them with water from a well? Yes, okay, we don't have to build a great big kind of aqueduct setup. We can just have a tiny well. Okay, there we go, sorted, all fine, brilliant. Yep, that was completely planned. I knew that was gonna happen. Um, these are slowly filling up. So maybe, just to make sure we do have enough people to go and do all the jobs we need them to do, we'll just put another house in down here, which is okay. Um, and then you've got all these things. So I think, given that we need to get some money in quite soon, we do need a tax office. However, the only pe there is a fire, there is a fi fire team. <laughs> Firefighters, assemble in your own time, you lot. No, oh no, that they are running. They're running in. He's got a bucket. Hang on, wait there. Wait there. We, we can help out with this. Um, there is the engineer house there. So let's put some nice pretty things around the edge of that. Right, there we go. Look, we've made a road. Are you gonna use it? No, you're gonna, you're gonna go the long way around. The fire is still firing. Can we put it out yet? <laughs> Anytime you like. I mean, you're gonna turn up with a load of stuff, right? And not just a bucket of water. Because that's not, that's not going to cut it. It's quite a serious blaze. And the way it says the building is on fire. Is it really? <laughs> I hadn't noticed. Right, you lob that onto there. And you're just stood in the fire with your buckets. Your infinite buckets of water. I think that building might possibly burn down. We'll repair that in a bit. It's going to be fine. There we go. Um, so yes, we do need to. You might have noticed when we looked at the tax thing there. It says collect daily taxes from patricians living in nearby houses. So the plebeians don't don't get town. Oh no, now there's another fire. <laughs> the fire has spread. Really, game? I've only just started and you're burning down my settlement. Okay. Um I mean they're trying. The fire the firefighters are trying. Do you know what? Let's get a couple more firefighters. <laughs> Emergency deployment of firefighters. We'll have another engineer. I suspect possibly we might need some more engineers to, you know, re repair the houses that are going to be a tiny bit singed. Um, yes, we do need to get some patrician housing in because these guys don't pay taxes, I don't think. Because, you know, they're quite lowly. They don't earn enough to sort of uh, pay any taxes. So we need to get some patricians in. And also, we do need to create a trade route with the city of Vatona, which means... I just want to get this fire put out. Come on, let's run time on nice and quick. And... Is it going to get put out? Any time. Oh, crikey. Okay, okay. They're, they're in no rush. <laughs> Please put the fire out. There we go. Brilliant. Right. So now that's done. Back to normal speed. Um, yes. Trade route. We need to look out, to, to, out into the world a little bit. So rather than looking at our little tiny area just here, we can zoom out. And there we go. We go to a world map. There's our city, which... I think has been sort of presented in a slightly more grandiose way than it actually is, because we don't look like that. Um, but then also, we have an explorer. And the explorer can just sort of gallop around if I click the right buttons. They can just sort of have a little explore. They can have a wander about. They've come to this area. Um, not much going on there. So they can then go over to here. Have a little wander. Nothing happening there either. Oh, um, oh some residents are leaving the city due to a lack of employment. Some of the house requirements are not being met. Okay, hang on. Which one is this? Um, the house does not have enough food. Oh yeah, we never got round to the food. Hang on a minute. Wait, that we'll get some food sorted. There's 14 people to go and work in the farms. We should be fine. So, wheat fields, here we go. <laughs> Let's get these in. Maybe over here could be like a little sort of a farming area. That might be okay. Um... Yeah, do you know what? We'll do that. We'll do that. We'll have some wheat fields going... We'll have one there and another there and another there. I know they haven't got a road connecting them, game. It's fine. So there we go. So lots of lovely wheat fields and then run that through the middle and then employ some people. So yeah, we can put, I think, two people into each field because we should be fine. And we do need a granary as well because that's where they store their food. Okay, so then we need to get a granary, which is uh, just there. Uh, does it lower? Does it lowers desirability? I would have thought if you were near a granary, that would raise your desirability, but never mind. Uh, and then we'll put that just... It's going to have to affect a few houses. I do apologise. You're going to have to live sort of down the road from a place which stores food. 
or starve. Your choice. Right, so pop that in and connect that up with a road and then put some people in it. Right, there we go. So they should be now producing lots of wheat, hopefully. So 200 wheat per day, I think it said. So we are going, yeah, there you go, look. We're going to gather some wheat and then eventually it'll go out here and people can afford to eat stuff, which is going to be good because I think that is their basic thing. I think that's one of their basic requirements. Yeah, consuming 15 wheat per day. Can we show that up here? Can we show that? Where is that food? Uh, oh, yeah, we've got no food at all. Uh, yeah, that, that's possibly a slight issue, isn't it? Um, okay, cabbages. The, the time of the cabbage is now. Let's get a cabbage-y thing in. Yay for a cabbage orchard, apparently. Uh, we'll pop that in just there. And then we'll get a couple of people working in here, too. Just to add a bit of variety to the diet. But yeah, hopefully people are going to be okay. We're not going to see people starving, I would hope. I think we've got... Joe, put another person into the granary. Just to really make sure that we've got that sorted out. Right. Um, we were looking at the world map. Everybody don't starve, please. I'm exploring. Right. There's our explorer. You can gallop over here. I think they can only gallop to the areas which are sort of adjacent. And that we sort of know are there. So they've got these kind of dotted lines. So anything going on in here? No, there is something... Oh, there's something down here. There's some... Can we click there? Can we click down here? You. Uh, we can come down here by the look of it. There is something here. Uh, oh, no, we can't zoom in that much, though. Hang on a minute. Hang on. <laughs> I was trying to zoom in on whatever that is. It looks like an arena of some kind. However, there is a little kind of exploring icon there. And our explorer is now doing the exploring. There's a tiny, tiny bar above their head which is slowly filling up. So they're going to wander around this kind of very mysterious place just here and have a nosy about and find out what that is. And in the meantime, we can go back and hope that everybody hasn't starved to death. How is the whole starving thing? Ah, some people have food, which is good. Hooray for that. Yeah, possibly should have sorted that out a little bit earlier, but never mind. Um, we can't build fisheries or anything, which is a little bit of a shame, but never mind. Um, so... Have we filled up all the housing over here? I think we have. I think we have. We're spending 1,000 money a day on kind of wages and stuff. Right, we need to get some patricians in in order to tax them. But, ooh, a chicken farm. Oh, we could get some different food types in. Yeah, some house things are not being met. It's fine, game. It's fine. We know this. Um, I mean, maybe could we get some more cabbage or just, Let's get one more of those in. Although we haven't got any spare workers. There's no spare citizens now. Uh, we could possibly fit some more in down here. That would be near to the market. Near to the engineers, I think. Yep, and near to the fire thing. Yeah, okay, right. Get another row of these in. So plebeian housing. So one and two and three and four and five. Okay, so like that. They, of course, need a road like so. Bring it round the side to connect up to there. Right. That's another, what's that? 25 workers, potentially, which is going to be quite good. So let's get another food thing in. Get another cabbage orchard. We're not going to forget about the cabbages. There we go. So more people can go and work there. There's only one unemployed person at the minute. Can we get up to two? Can we get up to two? There we go. Right. Two people can go and work there. And that's all very good. So yeah, cabbages. Oh, look. There they are. There's the lovely cabbages going in. And there's somebody running past with some grain. There we go. So lots of grain going in. Right. This is all very good. But yes, we do now need to get some of the patricians in. Because we're just not making money. We're not making money. So we need a tax office. Um, so yeah, this area here. Oh, hang on a minute. Hang on. That area there is undesirable. This area's got a fire station near it. Okay, do you know what we'll do? We shall go along here. Going to make a slightly weird road network. But anything on this side isn't bothered by that warehouse. So I think, yes, across here then, let's get some patrician housing, shall we? So some fancy housing going on. So one and two and three and four and, oh, and three. I thought I'd vote a fourth, but I didn't. But yeah, weirdly, one of the requirements for these buildings is you have to have a tax collector nearby. <laughs> They're not going to move in unless they can pay some taxes. So uh, yeah, okay, let's get one of those in. Let's build ourselves a tax office. Oh, it's stone. 
We've not got enough stone. Ah, bother. Okay, right, let's run time on until we have, what was it? Uh, 75 stone, was it? Where was it? Yeah, 75 stone. Okay, yeah, run time on until we have enough stone, please. Okay, there we go. We've got 78 stone, which means we can now build our lovely tax office. So let's pop it. Okay, it's got quite a big range. It's got quite a big range. So possibly if we put it, let's put it, say, behind one of these. So they're three by three. That's only two by three. So if we put that just here and then, of course, connect it up with a lovely road because everything needs roads, roady road. Right, there we go. And then bring that around like that and then put some people to work in here. So who works in here? Is it? I'm just going to put two workers. I'm just going to go two workers can go and work in there. So I think, yeah, we've got all the patricians. They're moving in quite quick. They're moving in very quickly. No tax has been collected from this residential building. Okay, so now do we have to set some sort of tax type thing? Okay, okay, so maybe we do. And there's various screens down here as well that we haven't really looked at at the minute. Um, there's gods, of course. We've got the gods. So, I mean, that god there, uh, Ceres, I don't know how you pronounce this series. Uh, they're pleased with us. They like us. They're looking down on us from Roman God Town, and they're very, very happy. Uh, beg my blessing, and I will make your fields and farms much more productive. Um, Apollo is neutral. Pluto is neutral. Jupiter is neutral, but getting toward liking us. Uh, Mars is very upset. Mars is properly grumpy with us because we haven't got any fighty people, and Minerva's sort of not really bothered. Um, there's a management window, but I think if we press this... We can pop along and have a look at the Pantheon of the Gods. And um, yeah, if we unpause time, they're all just sort of hanging out, look. <laughs> they're all just chilling out in wherever this is. I don't know, some lovely kind of God house type thing. But they're all just sort of over here. I mean, these just show us what we've already just seen. These are just kind of slightly more fancy representations of this over here. But I do like how they're all just sort of, um, just sort of hanging out, having a chat. These have got fancy kind of the Roman sort of helmet type things on and you're not wearing enough clothes, let's be honest, and you've got a very odd pose you've adopted, but yeah, I quite like that. I don't think yeah, it does anything different to this. I don't think there's anything else that we can do with the screen, but it's just, it's just quite fun. I just like the fact you can hang out with the gods and they're all sort of glowing and such. Um, but yeah, you can tell that obviously he's got a red glow, so he's not very happy. He's quite cross, whereas she is very happy. Uh, we could potentially, hang on, what's that? Some residents leaving the city due to lack of employment. Oh, yeah, the patricians. They're probably not overly happy. Um, oh, 18 unemployed plebs. Okay, yeah, we should possibly sort that out as well. Um, okay, let's pop back out of here then. Uh, how do we go? A settlement. There we go. Um, right, okay, yeah, we need to give you some jobs. A absolutely, yeah, sorry about that. My bad, I completely forgot. Um, how about then if we have 160 wheat? which does seem like quite a lot of wheat, maybe we should get ourselves a bakery. So the bakery requires both planks and bricks. So we're going to need to get a plankery and a stone cutter, like stone bricks. So let's get a plankery and let's get a stone cutter. Uh, we can afford to build the plankery. The stone cutter requires a lot of stone. Okay, right, that's fine. Um, they're going to need to be within range of this because that's a warehouse. Let's put them right there. Let's put them just there. So I can take the wood from there and put it immediately in tier. That'd make sense. There we go. Do you know what? We'll have four people working in there. And in fact, could we, um, in the cabbage fields, just up the amount of people working there just to provide some more jobs? And these two here can also max out on the amount of people working in those fields. There we go. And another person working in the granary as well. Wonderful. Right, there we go. That's all very good. Uh, let's have another person. A couple of people working in the market too. Um, our money is, is coming down quite a bit again. It's coming down quite a bit. We're trying to tax the patricians. But yeah, look at that. We are getting money from those guys. Uh, how about then? Can we build any money? No, we need stone. We need stone. Okay. So we've got planks. So we've got the planks we need to build. Well, we will have planks we need to build the bakery, but we don't have the stone bricks. Uh, materials, let's put planks and bricks onto the list. So that should start creeping up, and that isn't going to creep up just yet, because 
to build the stone cutter, we need, yeah, 50 stone. Yeah, okay, do you know what? Let's run time on very quickly. I'm sure they'll gather it nice and fast. Hey, you guys over here. <laughs> Just popping by to check in that you're okay. Yep, yeah, all good. Brilliant. Carry on. Good work as you were. Uh, right, so over here. Get ourselves a stone cutter. And uh, we'll put that, I don't know, over there. Pop it over there next to the warehouse. Because that seems to make sense. Uh, and then we shall put um, as many people as we can. Four people into there to generate some lovely stone bricks. And then, to make the bread, we're going to need 15 planks and 20 bricks. But then, yes, we can get actual bread. Lovely, delicious bread. And then we'll know that we've made it. Um, no more space to store more stock of outbound resources. Oh, that's full. That's full of grain. That's full of wheat. Okay, these are filling up. This is, this is good. This is good. We might possibly need another granary uh yeah okay i know but do you know what when we build the um when we build the bakery that's going to start using some of this up so i think for now it should be fine what's under entertainment oh we need to get to level four we're not far off level four we need another five patricians and that's it do you know what that's probably something we can't do right now because they also need quite a lot of stone Okay, have we got any spare people? Uh, four people are working at Gathering Stone. Okay, we're just going to have to be patient, I think. It's going to have to be patient. We'll run time on nice and quick until we get 50 stone. Because then if we get more patricians in, that means that we go up another level and we can build some more exciting things. There's so much to build. There are so many things that you get to build. I mean, a bathhouse. A bathhouse would be absolutely fantastic. And it improves health. Oh, oh. There's been one murder. Okay, do we have a police force of any kind? A guard post. Level five. Oh dear. People leaving due to a lack of employment. And there's only four spaces left. <laughs> there's only four jobs. That are, four people that are unemployed. I would say out of a, a, that city that size. That's quite good, isn't it? Um, do you know what? We can just We can just give them jobs. We can give them jobs. How about we make another field? How about... A field of melon. Joe, we haven't got much in the way of fruit. We haven't got much in the way of fruit. We've got grain and we've got we've got cabbages, but we haven't got much in the way of fruit, have we? So maybe um where can we put this? Uh do you know what? We'll put we'll build around here somehow. I don't quite know how we're gonna do it, but we'll put that just there. In the shadow of the lovely aqueduct, we shall have um yeah, pop that like that. That's going to be quite good. And then, yeah, here we go. Can we do this? Can we have a road coming through like that and then along like that? And then we can fit some more farms in the middle sort of facing that way, possibly. I don't know. Uh, right, there you go. Melons it is. Okay, so we've got some grain, some cabbages, and some melons. I think maybe next time we mix it up so we get ourselves some carrots, maybe some onions. We can make a nice stew. We could, I mean, if we could have potatoes or something, that'd be quite good. People leaving due to a lack of employment. There's literally two of you that are unemployed. Okay, two of you, go and gather melons, please. Go and grow melons. So now there's no unemployment. So yeah, away with that notification. Um, have we got enough stone yet to build the thing? Oh, I think we might have. Yes, patrician housing. Okay, so pop that in on that corner. There we go. Uh, there is also... A bit of room behind the tax office where we could put some decoratives. How about we get... Oh, we could have just a nice hedge. There you go. Just a, a fancy hedge, which makes these houses all happy. Yeah, okay. I'm happy with that. And um, yeah, as soon as people move in, they can start paying taxes. And hopefully they can just sort of... Um, yeah, we can bring our, our sort of wage bill down a little bit. If we could get another one of those in, that would be great. Um, some houses needs are not being met. What's not being met here? Doesn't have enough food. Uh, okay. I mean, there should be plenty of food to go round, I think. There are many cabbages and an awful lot of wheat and possibly some melons too. Um, however, we can now build theatres. We can build... Oh, we can build a school. That's going to be quite good. Flax field, fighty things. I feel like we do need to get a temple. I think we do need to get some sort of temple in. Um, how are we doing on the whole exploring thing? How did you do down here? Ah, 
We found Vetona. Okay, that's good. We need to create a trade route with them. Um, so how do we do this exactly? There we go. Trade routes. Okay. Ah, that's the stuff that we need to send to Rome. Okay, so if we buy uh, 70, 75 per day, 75 of that stuff per day. Yeah, accept that. So, okay, we'll do that then. How does that work? Right, we've set up a trade route, so that's good. Your settlement has reached village status, that's good. Some houses have been upgraded to a higher level. Have they? That's not a house, is it? That's a warehouse. <laughs> okay, this is it's good news, I think. Uh, okay, yay for that. That's good. W wonderful news. Uh, right, go back to go back to the region map. So our, ah, there's a delivery look. The delivery is on the way. Um, an explorer can now go over here. Have a look over. I think it's unlocked some more things we can look at now. So yeah, have a look over here. Begin exploring this area. We need to find Rome, I think. We need to send the marble, I think it is. We send that over to Rome. Uh, we can put that, there it is. Yeah, marble, wonderful. Right, so put that on our list as well. Oh, crikey, now, now what's happening? What is the issue now? Some house needs are not being met. Um, not enough food. You need, you're consuming 20 cabbages a day. Um, oh, you're out of range of a market. Okay, right. In order to deal with this, I think we're going to need a plebeian house here so people can move into there and then we can put those people to work over in a market which we can build over here when we have enough stone. We need 15 stone. Come on. Here we go. Just speed time on. 14 stone and 12 stone. 18 stone. Right, wonderful. Pause time. Put a market over here. And in fact, let's put it sort of here-ish. Could it go here? That would cover quite a lot of the patrician housing. So drop that in like that and get that put together. And we've got four people. One, two, three, four. There you go. Four people can work in there. They can then move food from the market into those houses and it should all be fine. What are they now complaining about? A lack of food. There's quite a lot of food, isn't there? Isn't there a lot of food? We've got we've got grain. We've got cabbage. Uh, we've put melon on the thing over there. There's a bit... This is on fire. Have we got a firefighting thing over here? <laughs> Do we have any fire... We've got some engineers... I don't think we have any firefighters over here. We've got some firefighters over in that part of the world, but not over here. Ah. Okay, this could potentially be an issue, couldn't it? This could potentially be... Uh, it, it's, a, it's a red hot issue right now. I think that building might possibly burn down a bit. Oh, it's the sawmill, the plankery. No. Um. Okay, could we, in an emergency kind of way, build a fire... No, we haven't got enough wood. And we haven't got enough stone. Okay. <laughs> There's nothing we can do. We're just going to have to watch and hope that it goes out. Maybe it could rain a bit. And then maybe that might put it out. I don't know. <laughs> this, is, this isn't this is going to be good, is it? This isn't going to go well. Uh, 35 stone is required. I mean, the only good news is that it's not going to spread. Because it's not next to anything. Uh, okay, let's wait until we have 35 stone. And... Now that building's up. The two new fancy production buildings are both on fire. Okay, I see what you're doing, game. I see, and I don't like it at all. Um, one new territory's been discovered. There's been a theft. There's a fire. Some house needs are not being met. Okay, this is all... It, everything is fine. It's all fine. There's one firefighter. There's no water. <laughs> There's no water. Okay, a well is 35 stone. Okay, Please hold the line. Please hold the line. Um, try and I know try and put the building out. That building is going to collapse and it's gone. And I imagine that building is going to go pretty much the same way because we couldn't get a well in because of a lack of stone. <laughs> See, this is why I shouldn't be put in charge of things because it, it, it generally goes a bit wonkaloids. But there we go. Right. We'll repair these and we shall get ourselves a... Oh, hang on. We could get a well now. The well could supply water to the firefighting place. Are they able to come over here and save the stone cutter? I don't think they are. No. 
Okay, right, they've not repaired. Oh. Click to remove the rubble. Oh no. <laughs> they've both just gone. Uh, okay, we can put the sawmill back. That's okay. And we can't put the stone cutter back. Again, due to a lack of stone. Okay, no, this this is all fine. We need some more um we need some more plebeians, plebeians. We need some more of these guys. Now that's patrician housing. Um because we where is it? That way. We'll put one there, and we'll put one there. No, we won't, because we haven't got enough resources. It's all fine. Uh, bring that in like that. Uh, because, yeah, we need more people to work in that fire station. That fire station doesn't have enough people working in it. Uh, right, okay, we need to get back up to 50 stone. Don't tell me there's another building on fire. There's another building on fire. Okay. Do we have a bit of an arsonist problem? Oh, no, they've put that out quite quickly. Oh, was that on fire? I suspect that might have been on fire. Oh, no, hang on. That's... Oh, that... There's no engineer over here, is there? Oh, no! Oh, oh. <laughs> right. Yes, I forgot about the maintenance of those buildings there. Uh, we'll put you on the corner, like that, and you can get... Bit, and then immediately go one, two, three, four... Four people can work in there. Run around and repair these buildings so quickly, because they are going to fall apart. Um, I think... There you go. They fixed them up. Okay, brilliant. Wonderful. Well done. Good job. And then three people can work in there as well. So we're covered for flames. Uh, we'll have four people in that sawmill. And then we've got two people left. Um, oh, yeah. We need to build the other house, don't we? We've got to build this additional house. So now we need some more wood. Okay, but I mean, this is all... Oh, we can send... We can send stuff to Rome. Oh, we're imp oh, hang on a minute. We're spending loads of money on importing stuff in. <laughs> we don't need to import all that stuff in now. Hang on a minute. Hang on. Uh, trade route. Don't do that per day. We've got plenty of marble. Also, what have you discovered over here? Is it anything exciting? Uh, no, but go and have a nosy round here with the little kind of comedy galloping horse. Um, like, oh, Trade. Oh, there's all. Oh, yeah, that's this screen here, isn't it? That's that screen there. Uh, yeah, so there is a kind of little sort of summary screen type thing. You can see sort of, you know, what how many people you've got in different places and all your different kind of job assignments and what have you. Different resources. Got our one kind of trade thing right now. You can do all these sort of um, sell when above, sell when below kind of stuff. Legion got no armies. And then, yeah, religion. We need to do something with this. We need to do something with that, I think. Before we wrap up, I would like to at least do something with one of the gods. Just, just to at least say hello. A little polite hello to one of the gods would be quite good. So, uh, hang on, we'll get another... Hang on a minute. We did have enough resources. Oh, they've taken some to, um, to turn into planks, haven't they? They've taken some to turn into planks. There we go. We've got enough money now. Enough wood now. Right, there we go. You guys put that together and then we need some people to move in. So we should have enough people moving in, which will give us some spare folks to go and do other jobs. Right. Wonderful. There we go. I, I, potentially, we've just clawed things back from a bit of a disastrous situation. I mean, yeah, people are going to be leaving. I think they're being picky, to be honest. So there we go. It's all sort of looking okay-ish. I mean, not perfect, but at the minute, nothing is on fire. So I'm going to take that as a win. Okay, a little bit of time has passed by. And in that time, I've sorted out our woeful finances. Look at that. We're now making 310 lovely Roman money every day. I mean, it's not loads. It's not loads. But it does mean that we're not going to run out of money in a matter of days. We're at least making a tiny bit of profit. All we did was add a couple of extra patrician houses in, and they've leveled up so they can hold more people, which means, of course, we're getting more tax from them, which is all very good. So that sorted that out, and I think now let's send this marble to Rome because that will complete our goal over here. So let's do that. There you go, Rome. You're very welcome. You've completed all the objectives of the mission. Rome awaits you. Go to the Capitoline Hill to start the victory lap, followed by your best men, and celebrate this success. Okay. Let's go and do all that, what you just said there, because it seems exciting. Do we get to ride a fancy horse? That's exciting. So now we go to the next mission. So I think, yeah, we come back to our little kind of city, but we just have some extra goals, I think, now. I think we've got a few extra bits and bobs that we're supposed to work toward. Let's find out. Oh, no, we go and do a completely different thing. 
at Spelunkus 40 BC. A large contingent of Marcus Antonius's troops has gathered around Brundisium in the south of the Italic Peninsula and threatens to take the port. Thus, Gaius Octavius is forced to send his armies, requiring a significant economic effort which has repercussions on all his territories. However, the confrontation does not take place and both leaders reach a tenuous truce. It is your task to establish the camp of Gaius Octavius next to the city of Ad Spelunkus, which is a great name for a place north of Brundisium, and to prepare yourself for the possible attack of rebel legions that ignore the peace that has just been signed. Okay, so now... We need to get to 60 plebeians, 20 patricians, and send 150, whatever that might be, cheese possibly? Is that like a cheese wheel with a slice taken out? I don't know. Send Rome 150 things. Um, okay, right. What is that thing that we're supposed to send to Rome? What is that? I don't quite know what that is. Um, oh, and then we begin again. Oh, I was going to go and build a temple and have a chat with the, have a chat with the gods. I sort of thought that we'd just get a new set of missions, but... No, it's like a whole new entire mission in a whole new place. Um, okay, okay, right. Where can we build? What I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly just build something because yeah, things do move quite quickly in this game. When I'm not sort of jibber-jabbering on about nonsense, things do tend to move quite quickly. So I wonder, could we build the city gate thing just here? And then we've got water over here. So that's okay. We can just get lots of lovely water from this thing. Um, and then we've got stone just there. So we should be okay. I think we should be okay. Is there another stone deposit somewhere else? Um, yeah, how do we identify where the stone deposits are exactly? Is there a map marker for them? Uh, on the sort of mini map thing. I don't think there is. We kind of just have to scoot about and find them. Um, okay, we'll set up, I think, just here then. Uh, let's put it, I don't know, there, that'll do. Boop, sorted. So they can put that together. Uh, right, I'm going to get building. I want to get to a point where, similar to what we had last time, but I want to have a little chat with the gods. I just want to basically build one of their temples and see what happens when you interact with them. I think that's going to be the sort of the final thing that we need to do to sort of wrap up our look of the game. We didn't do that and we possibly should have done, but there we go. Never mind. So let me go and do some very, very speedy building and then we might go and have a chat with a Roman god or two. Okay, there we go. Fairly basic little settlement up and running. Got ourselves some plebeian housing over here. Got some lovely farms in the middle because we did start with entirely no food at all. And then down here, we've got a bit where we cut down trees and we gather stone so fairly straightforward nothing too fancy however we do have enough materials to build ourselves a temple so here we go which of the gods likes us okay so again it's Ceres or however you pronounce that so yeah how about we build a temple to you and then we do some sort of offering type thing because as you can see a lot of these houses here are complaining they don't have enough food and Ceres there is I think the god of food or something yeah the god of sort of agriculture beg my blessing and I will make your fields and farms much more productive so okay let's do that then some house needs are not being met yet we know apparently there's no food there's no food we could potentially just pop ourselves more people into these fields. Got a good range of food. Good range of food. Got wheat, got carrots, got onions, got cabbages, got melons. You know, a decent array of decent array of food types. You can make a nice stew with some of those. And then some lovely bread to dunk into it. If you've got a little tiny sort of uh, tiny kind of you know, oven type thing in your house or whatever. You could use the grain to make some nice bread possibly to dunk in the stew. I don't know. Right, there we go. Do that. Okay, so now all our people are assigned. So let's get ourselves a temple. Uh, okay, I imagine it's going to make people happy. So if we put it there, that's going to cover quite a lot of people. But also, it does cover all of our fields. So if there is some sort of thing which says, yeah, it affects the fields within range of the temple, then we have that covered. So yeah, pop that just there. So in goes a temple. Right, okay. How do we do this then? What happens here? Uh, we can celebrate a festival uh, half day, so 200 money and 75 wheat. Or we could have a large festival, an all day festival, uh, 350 money and th oh, that's bread, 30 bread. Okay, we're not quite to the point where we can do bread just yet. But look, got a lovely temple going on. Oh, that's quite pretty on the inside. Got some kind of planty bits and a statue of 
Ceres series. I don't know how you pronounce that either. My Roman pronunciations are somewhat lacking. Um, okay, or... Or we could sacrifice some people. I don't think we sacrifice any people. That's not going to be a popular decision. Um, how about... How about we need to get maybe just just a few more people. We need to get just a few more people. Oh, that building's on fire. Um, two more people might help us get quite a lot of wheat. We're going through the wheat quite quickly. Um, okay, right. We'll add a few more houses and we shall get some more people working in wheat farms. And we'll try to get 75 wheat and then we'll just have a bit of a festival. That's what we will do. I think that seems like our best course of action. So, uh, yeah, right, here we go. Let's get some more people on board and then have a little bit of a party. Lovely. Okay, people really, really like wheat. No sooner have we got any wheat than it goes back out into people's houses. Look at that. It goes up and up. 120 wheat. Right, pause time. I think that fire's gone out too, which is good. Um, yeah, let's have a little bit of a festival, shall we? Let's party with one of the gods. Right, okay, what happens now? What do we do now? Do people come to the temple? Do people party in the streets? I don't know. I'm not entirely sure. There are people kind of heading this way. There are some people heading this way. Are you going to walk into the temple? No, you're not. You're not. I don't know what the advantage is of having a half-day festival. Does it just make people happy? I don't know. Okay, so can we now click on this? Can we click on that to sort of do anything with you? Last offering or festival no days ago oh okay oh no they are in people are in the temple they're doing a lovely bit of worship there we go to the goddess of agriculture or farms or fields or whatever it is um there we go this is this is lovely look yay right that's kind of that's what i wanted to do that's what i wanted to do oh that building has collapsed oh oh have we not got an engineer thing covering this um we, oh, it's, it's literally those two farms there. Oh, that's a bit of a nuisance, isn't it? Okay. <laughs> put an engineer thing in here and put a couple of, you know, put four people to work in it. It's fine. Um, okay, those have sort of, that's nearly falling apart. Uh, hang on, let me put one final, uh, that was wheat, wasn't it? Let's put one final wheat field back in. Just get that back up on its feet. There we go. No unemployed people. Oh, okay, never mind, never mind. Oh, festival. Oh, there you go. The festival is still ongoing. Oh, wonderful. There we go. Right. So we've had a little bit of a party with the gods. That's all very nice. And yeah, we got to the second mission. So I assume the game kind of walks you through sort of fairly simple things. Sort of you holds your hand a little bit going, hey, try this first, then do that, then do this. But um, but yeah, I think we shall wrap things up for now. We have had a pretty good look at Citadelum, see what it's all about and how it works and all that kind of stuff. And, you know, sometimes it's quite nice to play a game like this. It seems more sort of um, a more classic city builder, shall we say. It's on a grid. And yeah, sometimes people sort of turn their nose up at that and go, oh, no, I like sort of your know, free form city builders. But, you know, I quite like it. We can build on a grid. You can build on a grid. You know where things are going to go. You know where the roads can go and all that kind of stuff. It's sort of nice and linear and straightforward. And sometimes it is quite nice to just play a game a little bit like this. It's, you know, it's not too complicated. It's relatively forgiving and it does look good. I think it looks really good. I like it. It's very pretty. You can see all the kind of things going on. And I do like how when you get near to the buildings, then, yeah, you can sort of see inside them. Um, it's made by the same people that did one military camp. And that had a very similar kind of sort of a visual mechanic to it. When you got near to a building, the walls kind of dropped down and you could see inside. So I think they've just kind of taken that from their previous game and they've applied it to this one, which is fine. I like that. I'm okay with that. I quite like it that you can see inside. Just an extra little bit of sort of extra nice little a bit of attention to detail there that you can see, which does seem like, yeah, it's quite a nice little thing to have. I do quite like it. So there we go. We'll wrap things up for now. Oh, actually, hang on. Uh, that was cheese, by the way. The thing that Rome wants, 150 of, is cheese. They want 150 cheese. For some reason, I don't know, they're having a cheese party over in the Roman palace and they want us to get some cheese to them. So there we go. We're not going to do that now. We're not going to do that. I imagine that would require, I don't know, some sort of some sort of animals, a cow farm, I imagine, would be required. That would make sense, wouldn't it? And then you get yourself like a sort of a, what would it be, a, a, a cheesery? Like a cheese making thing? Material production, would it be in here? Weaver armory, shields, bows. I don't know. Uh, where where would you make the cheese? Butchery, fishmonger, winery, granary, fishing dock. 
Okay, I don't know where you'd make the cheese. Maybe it's made in the um, in the thing. Maybe the cow farm has a little sort of uh, a little cheese making operation at the back. I'm not entirely sure, but there we go. There we go. So we'll wrap things up for now. But yeah, I think in the sort of full version of the game, as you go through, as you work through, uh, there is fighting. I mean, maybe if we'd have played some more levels, possibly we could have got to a little combat bit. But, you know, I think we have seen enough of the game to yeah, work out what it's all about and such. But, yeah, there is kind of fighting going on. There's military stuff happening. You can line up your troops and there are little battles that go on, which is quite fun. Of course, we do have all the gods as well. We've sort of interacted with one of them. So that, I think, plays quite a large part in the game as well. I think on the Steam Store page, there's, um, I think, on the video, they've got the gods kind of appear. They sort of appear, they rock up in the middle of the settlement and help you out or possibly hinder you because you can annoy the gods. They can pop down and tell you off and tut at you and wag a finger at you and look very cro uh, very grumpy. So, yeah, they can do that as well. So yeah, the gods are an important part of the game, too. So there is a lot going on in this game. And, yeah, I know we haven't looked at it all, but I think you kind of get the idea of the game. I think maybe this might be one that we pop back to when it's complete. So we can play through the whole thing. We don't have to kind of stop when the demo ends or whatever. Whenever that might be, I don't know. But I think it might be worth coming back to it when it's a little bit more sort of finished and we can play through. But um, yeah, I did think that we'd just be able to build one big city. I didn't realise that it was kind of working our way through missions. I would like to just have like a, a free build mode and just build a great big city and unlock things as we go. But yeah, maybe that'll be in a future version of the game. I do not know. But we shall wrap things up for now with our look at Citadelum. Hopefully you did enjoy this. If you did, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. Hang on, we've got military people. Hang on, we've got fighty people. Interrupt the end sequence thing. We've got, we've got some soldiers, look. We've got sentries. Okay, I'm going to move the sentry to that location. Does it do anything? Are we fighting anybody down here? I've got it. It's quite. It's quite misty around here. Um, okay, explorer, can you go over here? Can you uncover anything in this part of the world? Okay, right. Hang on. Wait. Wait on that end bit there. I'm going to run time on. If the explorer uncovers this, because if we have fighty people, it might imply that we could go and have a bit of a scrap. So if we find somebody down here, maybe we will go and have a fight with them. I don't think there's going to be anybody here, but hang on. Right, wait on the end bit of you know, all the end sort of stuff that I normally waffle on about. Uh, let's see what's over here. Have we got anybody that we could go and have a battle with? Um, no, unfortunately not. Okay, do you know what? Never mind, never mind. We have got some fighty people. But they're just not being so fighty right now. And they are doing some very good <laughs> some very good power walking. I like that. Well done, you guys. Okay, pop back and protect us, I think. Yeah, pop back here. You guys come home. And you, just for the sake of completeness, um, you can go to... Oh, you have to move between sort of regions sequentially. Okay, go back over here. And yes, there we go. With that done, we will wrap things up for now. So I can't remember where I got to before. So I'll just do the whole end bit again. Hopefully you have enjoyed this. If you have, please do leave a like. That would be most marvellous indeed. And also, if you're not already, then please do subscribe to keep up to date with all the other bits and bobs and nonsense that we get up to in the Geek Cupboard. But for now, thank you very much for joining me in the Geek Cupboard and I'll see you next time. Oh, look. They're having a lovely time around the campfire, and we're about to ruin that for everybody. You're a fast learner. Oh, you're a killer. <laughs> Get, you're killing the sheep. <gasps> this is an outrage. And there we go. Horst has finished his snowman. She's gone. Gisela has lost consciousness. <laughs> this, is, this is not going to end well, is it?